I'm an American. Land out the phrase. Hey guys, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for watching. I'm Jade if you're new here. And today we are continuing our discussion around Angela and Michael. And now Soldier Boy Usman, who recently called Angela out for scamming Michael. Yup. So anyways, I'm a Nigerian and I will be addressing this conversation, this topic from a Nigerian standpoint, from me as a Nigerian standpoint. So anyways, recently Usman took to his social media, Usman Soldier Boy, took to his social media to drag Angela Dean for filth for allegedly breaking up with Michael. Yep, Angela is finally done with Michael and she's now flushing him out like a used bathroom tissue. So taking to Instagram, this is what Soulja Boy wrote. He said she has been scamming him since 2018, using him to shoot and then go back to the state. She has been on all social media, but denied him to be on. She uses his money for nonsense surgery and even used both his and her money to buy a house. Now she want to leave him. Give this wicked and heartless woman a name, please. It's either you take him to the States or you are a scammer. Although I remember you have been to prison and had lots of bad records, so you might not be eligible to file for someone. At 90 Day Bipolar, please tell this pig my message. Ah, Angela Dean. Like Soldier Boy did not come to play, he made sure to tag her name as well. And Soldier Boy was not done talking. Nope. He went on to say, if you tried a Yoruba man and you got free, ask about an Hausa man in Nigeria. We don't scam, we don't cheat, but we don't tolerate. That is why you've been misbehaving for over seven years and he still take it. But when your type tried that nonsense with me and by your type, I'm guessing he means baby girl visa, baby girl Lisa. But anyways, he says, but when your type tried that nonsense with me, you saw what I did. Be careful with me, loser. And if you didn't, only your words will take you to hospital. Hashtag angel devil. <laughs> and then later on, during the question and answer, somebody asked him what happened to make you go public with the Angela nonsense, to which he responded and said, I was on my own all this while and she starts looking for my trouble. In Nigeria, we have three major tribes, Hausa, Igbos and Yorubas. I belong to Hausa and she only knows about Yoruba. Please tell her to ask about Hausa men before coming. And somebody else asked him, don't you think you should butt out of Angela's and Michael's relationship? To which he responded saying, their relationship is theirs, but cheating is not accepted anywhere in the world. Another person asked, responding to his hashtag, the person said, that should say Angela. And he responded and said, you mean angel devil. <laughs> like he wasn't here to play. So you guys just had me read that. So let me quickly say this. What Usman said about his tribesmen not engaging in any kind of scamming or cheating is typically true. It's a common knowledge in Nigeria that he comes from a tribe that is basically one of the most honest in the sense that they don't cheat you. They don't scam you. They don't want you to cheat or scam them either. You know, just take what belongs to you and let me take what's due me, what's owed to me. That's the kind of general principle around his tribe, which is also why his relationship with baby girl Kimberly is so questionable to me because I see no other reason why Usman, a young guy, would be interested in somebody like Kimberly, you know, other than him just trying to use her. So it's kind of... um contradicting what he's saying unless of course he wants to tell me that he really 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 loves Kimbali which I really don't think is the case so yeah but yeah I just wanted to say that but the general principle is that how's our men how's our people are typically very honest people you know they are very honest they don't engage in anything and also they never leave Nigeria they stay put in Nigeria. They are scattered all over Nigeria. 
But as far as traveling out of the country, nope, they never leave the shores of Nigeria. That is the reason why he's not moved by somebody traveling from America to come and see him. He's not moved by the prospect of a green card. He doesn't care. You know, their general sentiment around traveling is that they just don't do it. They stay in Nigeria. They can relocate from one part of Nigeria to another, but they never leave the shores of Nigeria. That's why you see him showing pride, you know, that he's not going anywhere. And unfortunately for baby girl Kimbali, he's not going anywhere. Unless, of course, he finds somebody that is worth him moving for. He's not moving an inch. And I don't see that happening between him and baby girl Kimbali. <laughs> But anyways, back to Angela and Michael. Let me say this going forward, right? I always knew that Angela Dean was going to toss Michael off when she was done with him. I always knew that would happen. I always knew that when their relationship eventually ends, it's not going to be because of Michael. It's not going to be because Michael quit the relationship. No, it was always going to be because Angela was done with the relationship and she was ready to move on. And so she dumped Michael. I always knew that when Angela decided that the relationship was going to end, it wasn't going to be for a lack of Michael's trying. You know, I'm sure he would have fought tooth and nail to keep the relationship. But Angela was done. Because at the end of the day, Michael was nothing but a pawn in Angela's sick, twisted need for fame. Michael was just a chapter in Angela's book of con, if only he knew it. She saw that sucker from a mile away. Remember, this is the same woman who was once featured on the Maury show multiple times, I might add, over paternity disputes with one of her daughters who ended up being charged, sentenced in jail for defiling an underage child. Like this family is twisted. True and true. Like this is a toxic, dysfunctional family. And her behavior on the show is no different from her behavior now. And she was trailer trash then and she's still trailer trash now. At the end of the day, do I feel sorry for Michael? Absolutely not. He brought this on himself. He should be thanking his lucky stars that she eventually got tired of him and she ended the relationship. Trust me. Because... He would have been a slave to this woman. She would have made his life a living hell in that dull water town where they come from. She would have made his life miserable. At least we don't know exactly why the visa process was rejected. There are speculations that it might have something to do with Angela's previous criminal record. We don't know. But whatever it is, let Michael thank his lucky stars that it didn't happen. We would have found Michael dead somewhere in the ditch after they did something to him. Like, I would not put anything past Angela and her people. She was so vile. And what was even more annoying to me was that TLC allowed this to continue. Imagine if the case was reversed and Angela was the man and Michael was the woman and the man was treating the woman this way. I am very sure that TLC would not have sat back and allowed this continued abuse on Michael. They would not have allowed it. They would have done something and the outrage would have been a lot because, oh, it's a woman that is being treated this way. But because it's a man, it's somehow okay. So, yeah, like I said, I don't feel sorry for Michael. His desperation is what got him, what he definitely deserved. In the olden days, People like Michael and even his family will be stripped naked in the public square and flogged for bringing embarrassment to his people. Michael was so desperate to travel to America that he ate all the shit and the piss from Angela. Like, my brother, if you don't go to America, you will not die now. You will not die. Not just you, your family too. You guys really, really disgraced yourself. You guys really, really embarrassed yourself. All because of America, all because of green card. Do you know what is so sad in all of this? Is that the kind of rubbish that Michael and his family tolerated from Angela, they won't tolerate one tenth of it from a Nigerian woman. Eh? They will not. Oh, they will show that Nigerian woman pepe, put pepe soup water for that Nigerian woman eyes. The kind of rubbish that they tolerated from Angela. Why is it because she's white? Because we all know that you people will not tolerate the same rubbish from 
a Nigerian woman who is based in America because of green card, you will not tolerate it. But you took it all in stride, collected all the abuse, collected all the insults from Angela. If an American-based Nigerian woman comes to Nigeria and start treating your son and even you guys the way Angela treated you people, eh? Pepper soup water go, they fly everywhere. But because it's Angela, now you guys just sat back and enjoyed it. I'm so ashamed of all of you, including you, Auntie Lydia or whatever they call you on the show. You people just sat back and allowed this trailer trash be disrespecting you guys because of green card. Green card now, you not still get, in spite of everything that happened, you guys still didn't get a green card. She still dumped your son. Imagine all the old congealed milk that your son licky, 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 licky from the old cow. All of them wasted, wasted. Oh God, oh, it's a shame. It's a shame. It's an embarrassment. I feel secondhand embarrassment for not just Michael because Michael is just Michael. He's like Michael. But also the family knowing fully well, being a Nigerian person who understands the importance of respect and the importance of a daughter-in-law respecting the marriage, respecting the family in which she's married. And to see Michael's family do this, to see Michael's family rubbish themselves, take all the crap from Angela, really, really, really disappointed me. So I don't care about Michael. Like I said, Michael is Michael. But for his family to actually take the BS too, that, that was just way too much for me. All because of American green card. You allowed yourself to be publicly humiliated and even the green card too, you still didn't get it. So yeah, at the end of the day, as crazy as this might sound, Angela eventually dumping Michael might just be the best thing that she could have done for Michael because we all know that Michael was willing to die on that hill. He was not going to leave until he gets his green card and Angela had no intention. All of those things, visiting the lawyer, visiting the immigration lawyer, all those things were just for show. Angela had no intention of giving Michael the green card or at the very least, she knows the reason why Michael will not get a green card. So yeah, she was just playing all those things for camera, you know, just to prolong this, just to prolong this for another season so that she can cash more checks from TLC and not even give him a penny, only giving him $60. $60 converted into Nigerian money is not a lot of money. Make no mistake about this. It's not like, Oh, $60 in Nigerian currency is a lot. It's not. It's peanuts. It doesn't do anything for you. Okay? So, but as long as Michael, because Michael is the show. Michael is the show. Without Michael, Angela has no show. Okay? So, because Angela wanted to continue to cash those checks, she was willing to drag Michael along for as long as it was needed. So, at the end of the day, Good on Angela for eventually dumping Michael. Maybe Michael can now move on with his life. Maybe now that Angela has said she doesn't want him anymore, maybe he can actually move on with his life now. It's actually a good thing that she ended the relationship. Might not seem so to Michael and his family now, but on the long run, it's going to show. Anyways, on that note, this is I'm going to end this. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Like this video if you like it. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.